For most of California, last year ended one of the driest stretches in state history. That being said, part of Santa Barbara County still is considered to be in a drought. Now, several years of good rain would be very helpful, but this year is a La Nina year. So what is that and what does that mean for the upcoming season? Meteorologist Dave Hubdi joins us now for more on that. Dave? Karina, a lot of people are familiar with El Nino in California, where warmer ocean waters generally create wetter than average conditions. Now, La Nina is the opposite of that, where cooler than average conditions exist in the Pacific Ocean waters. But it's not a strong indicator of seasonal rain. In fact, last year was a weak La Nina, and it rained like crazy. Winter is coming. On October 19th, NOAA issued its winter outlook for temperature, precipitation, and drought. Both observations and computer forecasts suggest La Nina is likely to develop. And that forecast calls for warmer than average conditions across southern states like California. However, on rain, the Central Coast straddles the line between dry conditions across Santa Barbara County and equal chances of above or below average rain in San Luis Obispo County. Pretty rare for us to see back to back wet years, so I don't want to jinx us, but I think we have to be prepared for more dry conditions. What we've learned in the past two years especially is that you can't bank everything on that forecast because in California we can have a variety of outcomes regardless of what the signal is. So in terms of people getting excited about this or not, my main message to everyone would be to stay tuned to the short term forecast. You can try to predict what's going to happen over three to six months, but that's really difficult and there's still room for improvement in those forecasts. In fact, the narrative about last year is oversimplified. For much of California, the drought did end, but not in parts of Southern California, including Santa Barbara County, with places like Lake Kachuma as visible evidence with plenty of room yet to fill. Rainstorms don't care if there's an El Nino or La Nina. We've had dry El Nino years and wet La Nina years. So despite the official NOAA outlook, experts say they approach such outlooks with caution especially since last year was such a shock. And again, last year was a weak La Nina, and for the Central Coast, it produced between 15 and 30 inches of rain, three to seven more inches than average. Most experts I spoke to said it's highly unlikely, but not impossible that another La Nina could produce huge winter rains. I have more in-depth discussion of the winter forecast and La Nina available on my social media at KSBY.com. In fact, Dan and Karina, I go on for 10 minutes about it, and I spoke uh, about an hour uh, to some grape growers up in North County today. Mm -hmm. They were very interested in the oh, forecast. Yeah. So, sure. uh, yeah. so we really do a deep dive about what long-term forecasting is and what it isn't, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really, it's pretty good. It's worth it. It's a YouTube clip and it's on my social media. Yeah, those farmers are paying a lot of attention. Dan, and of and yeah, because we absolutely. all pay for it. Yeah. We all pay for it at the grocery store if it doesn't work out right. Yeah. So you are saying rain's in our near future, right? It's in the immediate, it's happening now future. <laughs> oh, that's right. We were outside uh, with Cy just a few minutes ago. So this is Cayucas, thanks to Surfly.